All right, I think I'm on now. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good, good evening. Uh, my name is Philip Graham. I'm the VP of Engineering and CTO of Telepresence here at Cisco. Uh, I want to thank the IMTC for inviting me here today. Uh, it's uh, great to be able to uh, uh, do a technology, uh, uh, using our own technologies to uh, uh, communicate across the world. What I'm planning to do today is uh, talk a little bit about telepresence and uh, hopefully have some time for questions at the end. So with that, uh, let's get right into it. Uh, if I can figure out how to change pages here. Here we go. So uh, we view telepresence as driving business transformation. Uh, we first view it as a way to increase collaboration and productivity. And of course, in these times, it's important to keep our productivity high and, uh, and not having to spend hours and hours on an airplane. Uh, you know, travel costs are going up. And you also need to be able to talk to more people at more times. The opportunity here is, uh, is to save people time, give back to their families, and uh, really make for a much, much better working experience. The, uh, the new opportunities it created are, will allow businesses to uh, increase their reach around the world. And of course, being greener is on top of mind of everybody these days. Uh, using jets to travel around the world is a very inefficient way to travel. And using technology such as telepresence really improves uh, our greenhouse emissions uh, in a dramatic way. We think that interoperability and intercompany collaboration is also key so that people can connect up no matter what kind of systems they're using. When we developed the Cisco telepresence solution, we went back to basics and looked at what people would have, how people met. And we viewed people uh, meeting around a conference table. Uh, and, and what we wanted to do uh, and try to achieve is to replace one half of the table with this technology. By replacing half the t uh, table with technology, we're able to create that in-person meeting experience, uh, complete with presentation, and then adding in capabilities like multipoint. Uh, and other kinds of interoperability uh, uh, solutions as well. For us, we focus on quality, simplicity, and reliability. Quality is creating a ultra-high definition 1080p experience with spatial audio, uh, which really helps to create that virtual in-person meeting experience. For simplicity, we wanted to make it as easy as a phone call, uh, also integrating with uh, Outlook or Lotus Notes to create what we call one button to push. You schedule your meeting uh, with Outlook, for example, add the rooms that you want to talk to, and when you come into the conference room, you don't even need to know the phone number of the room you're trying to call. It's already there presented to you on the phone and you just, uh, just use it. And then lastly, reliability. People needed to know that the system was going to work for them first time, every time, that they were going to be able to engage uh, and not have to worry about whether the system is going to be operating. They, it needed to be so dependable that they could rely upon it to do their work every single day. For us, we view telepresence as just one example of a continuum of experiences from texting and email uh, to IM, voice, audio conferencing, web conferencing, and of course video uh, collaboration as well. So it is a part of that continuum. Today, I happen to be using uh, Red Vision Scobia product, but I could be using other people's technology as well in order to provide that in-person meeting experience. And we view that as part of a continuum, uh, depending on how uh, rich of an experience you're trying to achieve and what's available to you at that instant in time. The, for us, we also view that you know, you're going to be doing video from your desktop and laptop maybe a room-based system such as our enterprise telepresence offerings. You might also be using public suites where maybe you don't have a presence in a company, uh, a, excuse me, a city, and you might be able to rent time in one of these cities on another company's or uh, um, you know, like a hotel or uh, type solution. We also view that people are going to be increasingly working more from home. Uh, this morning, for example, I'm doing this from my home because that saved me an extra half an hour of driving to work and, uh, and it's very early here in California, so I was very grateful for that extra half hour of sleep. But then also we see the stretching into the consumers of the world. We, we think that uh, the consumer is ready for video, 
and wants to interact with their loved ones across the world. If you think about it, it's a natural extension of what, uh, what is happening with video. The other opportunity is for the business to business connections. Uh, make sure that you can connect up different companies. Business to consumer creates interesting business models where people can, uh, businesses can reach out to consumers or consumers can reach out to businesses. There's a slight differentiator there. In one case, the business is trying to get input, for example, from a consumer. The other case, the consumer is trying to get a product or service, perhaps um, uh, tutoring for a child uh, and you know, from a business. And then, of course, the consumer to consumer connection is an obvious choice as well. It's important to have you know, all these systems work together and be interoperable with every one of these systems and other competitors' equipment as well. For us, you know, having the ability to tie into all these endpoints invokes Metcalf's effect, which is um, a capability to, uh, the as, as you add more endpoints, the value of the entire network of endpoints becomes more valuable. So it's very, uh, uh, it's very important that we uh, maximize the number of endpoints uh, that we work with. In, in our Cisco Telepresent portfolio, we have uh, different product categories. Uh, in endpoints, we have personal systems such as the CTS 500, CTS 1100 for a small conference room, CTS 1300 for a multi-purpose uh, conference room that again will help will sit six will seat six people. Excuse me. And then our our uh, CTS 3000 series, which is the room-based experience, which can be extended out to uh, 18 people with the CTS 3200. We also offer multi-point solutions, which allow for 48 segments in a in a meeting, uh, one button to push scheduling, which makes it super simple, and also intercompany solutions so that companies can connect up as well. We we help customers with room design planning uh, for their network and uh, integration with the groupware if necessary, and also provide standard definition and high definition interoperability. As I said earlier, interoperability is top of mind for us. We uh, also offer uh, what we call recording studio, which allows you to use your telepresent system to create VODs for your uh, work, workplace or for other purposes. You've got the great high definition camera, great audio. Why not use it to create uh, video on demand for your company? In fact, I use it with my team all the time. I send out weekly top of mind videos and uh, with that, I'm able to increase the reach of my message throughout my entire organization. Uh, encryption is, of course, important. And then uh, beyond the installation, we also help with uh, monitoring the system to make sure that everything is working as people would expect. For us, you know, as I mentioned before, interoperability has been a journey for us with uh, starting with standard definition uh, interoperability back in 2007. Uh, also offering it in our intercompany solution as, as we had also added new collaboration tools such as our auto collaboration and multipoint. In 2008, we increased that with uh, HD interoperability, uh, also adding our public telepresence uh, suites to the mix and integration with other digital systems such as our digital media system to allow for connection to digital signage and also uh, integration to call center for uh, new kind of business models as well. We added uh, additional interoperability capabilities in uh, late 2008 with uh, interoperability with CUVC 7.0, uh, adding interoperability with uh, Cisco MXE, um, uh, making it easier for people to reach each other with a directory. Uh, and we've also announced uh, our, that will be coming out later this year, our interoperability with WebEx, which allows for web plus telepresence uh, uh, inter integration. But very really excited to be talking about how we've uh, uh, now offering the telepresence interoperability protocol, which is how we do three screen to three screen uh, video. And uh, we're offering that uh, first, we opened it up as a, as a license, but we're going to be uh, launching open source here uh, in uh, the next uh, several months. And that will help people accelerate and be interoperable when there's multi-screen systems. So there's great standards for single screens, uh, but there's uh, nothing available for multi-screen. We view this as just a step in the, in the step towards um, interoperability for multi-screen systems. Uh, 